So hello everyone and welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session guys we are going to talk about the news from 25th and 26th July 2022. So I hope your preparations for the upcoming Navad grade examination is going well and you guys are preparing well. And these sessions are very much required for the upcoming Navad grade examination. So watch these sessions carefully and enjoy it. Right? So let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question which says and yes uh, before moving to the question let me tell you if you want to have the PDF of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description right consider the following statements with respect to scheme for promotion of bulk drug parks and you have to identify the correct statement now you must be wondering that is it a new scheme so let me tell you this no it is not a new scheme it is a news because uh, a parliamentary reply has been submitted by the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers regarding the schemes which are being implemented by the Ministry for uh, you know upliftment for enhancing the pharmaceutical industry in the country right so let's talk about the schemes which are being implemented number one we have PLI scheme for promotion of domestic manufacturing of critical key starting materials drug intermediaries and active pharmaceutical ingredients remember this scheme was launched in the year 2020-21 which means the financial year 2021 and the period of implementation is up to financial year 2030. The total outlay is 6940 crores and financial incentives for 41 identified in uh, products will be provided right and total 51 applicants have been selected under the scheme to give the incentives uh, as defined under the scheme right. And now if you want to have the if you want to know more about this scheme and this is for enrolled student you can refer the PLI scheme document which is provided in the course right. Then we have PLI scheme uh, for pharmaceuticals. Now the financial outlay for this scheme is rupees 15,000 crores. Till now total 55 applicants have been selected under the scheme and the tenure of this scheme is also uh, it, it was also launched in financial year 2021 up to financial year 2021 it will be implemented right and then we have scheme for promotion of bulk drug parks it was also launched in financial year 2021 for a period of implementation up to financial year 2025 with a total financial outlay of 3000 crores now <coughs> as the scheme suggests the bulk drug parks will be established under the scheme so total three parks will be established with financial assistance up to rupees 1000 crore per park or 70% of the project cost whichever is less. Now this 70% will become 90% in case of northeastern states and hilly states. Alright. And now let's come back to the question. So you have to identify the correct uh, statement regarding the scheme for promotion of bulk drug parks. Right. So uh, the scheme was launched in 21-22. No. It was 2021 when it was launched. Right. Total outlay for the scheme is 10,000 crore. No. It is just 3,000 crore. All right, and total five parks will, with financial assistance up to 2000 crore. Three parks with financial assistance of 1000 crore each will be established. So all the statements are incorrect here, which means option E. None is correct will be the correct answer, guys. Moving ahead to question number two. Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to assistance provided under PM formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme? So this scheme I have discussed in uh, detail so many times, but this time uh, we are going to discuss only the assistance which are being provided under this particular scheme because this assistance, this assistance news mein aya hai, to iski baat hum kar lete hai, to kya kya assistance iske under provide karaya jata hai and of course the scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Food Processing Industry, right? So these are some of the support which are being provided uh, under this scheme. Number one, if I talk about the support to individual or group category micro enterprises, so they are provided with credit link capital subsidy at the rate of 35% of the eligible project cost and the maximum ceiling is up to rupees uh, maximum ceiling is rupees 10 lakh per unit right 35% of the eligible project cost uh, up to rupees 10 lakh is provided right then if I talk about SHGs for seed capital so they are provided with rupees 40,000 per member uh, engaged in food processing for working capital and purchase of small tools and this is also subject to a maximum of rupees 40 lakh per SHG federation. Alright. 
देन सपोर्ट फॉर कॉमन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड क्रेडिट लिंक कैपिटल सब्सिडी एट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सब्जेक्ट टू मैक्सिम ऑफ रुपीज थ्री करोड टू सपोर्ट फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स कोऑपरेटिव एंड एनी गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी फॉर सेटिंग अप ऑफ कॉमन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज प्रोवाइडेड एंड फाइनली फॉर ब्रांडिंग एंड मार्केटिंग ग्रांड्स अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द ग्रुप्स ऑफ फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स कोऑपरेटिव और स्पेशल पर्पज व्हीकल ऑफ माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंटरप्राइज right so these are some of the important assistance which is which are being provided under this scheme and now we have to identify the incorrect statement all right credit link capital subsidy at 35% of the eligible project cost is provided to micro enterprises bilkul sahi hai seed capital at rupees 40000 per member absolutely correct of shg uh, grant up to 50% for branding and marketing to groups bilkul sahi hai For common infrastructure, credit link capital subsidy at five percent subject to not it's not five percent it's thirty five percent. So this is incorrect, which means option D is the correct answer because we have to identify that one incorrect statement, right? Moving ahead to question number three, Rural Technology Action Group being supported by Office of Principal Scientific Advisor. Now you have to tell me who is the principal scientific advisor? Who is the current principal scientific advisor to the government of India? so rural technology action group being supported by office of psa has the objective of developing demand driven <coughs> prototype technologies for application in rural areas currently there are seven rutags in seven iits which of the following is not among the seven iits right so let's talk about this news so remember again it is in news because a parliamentary reply was submitted regarding this so we have a rural technology action group which is being supported by the office of principal scientific advisor and the, these groups has the objective of the de uh, developing demand driven prototype technologies for application in rural areas right sirf rural areas ke liye kaam karta hai ye and there are seven such groups which have been established in seven iits which are iit madras guwahati khadakpur roorkee delhi kanpur and bombay right and these centers have developed 52 demand driven technologies in various sectors for gram panchayats of the country and these sectors are agriculture assistive technologies drought animal energy environment or water handicrafts and textile so these are some of the sectors for which 52 demand driven technologies have been developed by these groups all right and now let's come back to the question you have to identify which of the following is not among the seven iits so madras guwahati khadakpur roorkee are there it roopad roopad is not there option e is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 4 Consider the following statements with respect to central sector scheme of national fellowship for SC students, and you have to identify the incorrect statement, right? So again, this is in news because a parliamentary reply has been submitted by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. So first of all, do remember that this scheme is being implemented by this ministry, and under this scheme, the fellowship is provided to the SC student in the form of financial assistance to pursue higher uh, studies leading to MPhil or PhD. it was launched in the financial year 2006 total number of scholarship provided per year is 2000 and the implementing agency which means the responsibility of providing scholarship lies with the university grants commission talking about fellowship amount so it is rupees 31000 per month for initial 2 years that is for jrf and rupees 35000 per month for the remaining tenure that is for srf all right So now let's come back to the question. The scheme was launched in two thousand five six, correct? Under the scheme, thousand scholarship per year is provided. No, AICT is the implementing agency. No, so it's UGC, and for this, it is two thousand. So two and three are incorrect, which means option B will be the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number five, how many beneficiaries have been selected for incentive under PLI scheme for drone and drone components? Now. If you want to uh, know about the scheme in detail, you can refer to the PLI document which is provided in the course. Now, अभी हम सिर्फ उतनी बात करेंगे जो कि news में था. News में ये था that total twenty three beneficiaries have been selected under this scheme by the Ministry of Civil Aviation headed by Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. Right? The scheme, remember, was launched in the year two thousand and twenty one, and these twenty three PLI beneficiaries will get a total incentive of of rupees one twenty crore. In three financial years, all right. So that is it. Itna hi hai news me. Isse zada bhi news me nahi hai. And as I told you, if you want to know about this scheme in detail, you can refer to the PLI scheme document. 
Now, how many beneficiaries have been selected? So it is 23. Option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number six. Under the scheme, scheme of vocationalization of school education. Under which scheme? Scheme of vocationalization of school education is being implemented by Ministry of Education for integrating vocational education with general academic uh, education. Right? So this scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Education under Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan. It is being implemented under Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan. And guys, in today's session, my energy will be a little less because I am not well. That's why Thursday was session bhi nahi hua tha, so please cooperate. Uh, the objective of this scheme is to, uh, is to integrate the vocational education with general academic education in all secondary or senior secondary schools, thereby enhancing the employability of the students and entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial skills of the students, right? Under this scheme, national skill qualification framework compliant vocational courses are offered to uh, the students belonging to class 9 to class 12 at the secondary level uh, that is for class 9th and 10th. These modules are offered as an additional subject while at the senior secondary level that is for class 11th and 12th. These are offered as an elective subject or you can say compulsory subject. All right. So, therefore, the correct answer will be option B. Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan is the correct answer. Let's move ahead to question number seven. Then, how much amount per month per school is provided for a period of three months for self-defense training of girls under Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan? Now, there is a provision of self-defense training under Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan as well, and for that, rupees five thousand per student uh, per school uh, per month is provided for a period of three months. Right. And this self-defense training is named as Rani Lakshmi Bai Atmaraksha Prashikshan. This self-defense training is known as what? Rani Lakshmi Bai Atmaraksha Prashikshan. And as I told you, rupees 5,000 per month per school is provided for a period of three months. All right. And remember this, that it is being implemented by under Samagar Shiksha Abhiyan. All right. So therefore, the correct answer will be option A, rupees 5,000. Moving ahead to question number eight. How many water aerodromes have been sanctioned under Udan scheme uh, with an outlay of rupees 287 crores? Udan stands for Udadesh Kaam Nagrik as I, uh, as I believe I, you all know this. And how many water aerodromes have been sanctioned? So it is 14, right? And if you want to know about the Udan scheme, again, you can follow the playlist Anu Jindal government schemes. 14 air aerodromes ko sanctioned kiya gaya hai with a total outlay of 287 crores. Option E is the correct answer. And they go see the question at the end of RBI K and about K exams with the Kaya Mesha Joe PIB me at the OC message generally a question of Haki. In fact, as it is statements copy of the PIB, right? So you don't have to go uh, in detail of everything that is not required, right? Joe Apko PIB me given hai Joe Mapko Padaro that is enough for your examination. Okay, moving ahead <coughs> in how many districts across the country. Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, headed by Dr. Virendra Singh, is organizing Nasha Mukta Bharat Abhiyan with a name to create awareness about ill effects of substance abuse among the youth. So you just have to tell the name, uh, 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 the number of districts in which this Abhiyan is being implemented. So it is 272. Option C is the correct answer. Which of the following states is not implementing Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen? Very, very important question. I believe this question is going to come in the exam. So, which state is implement not implementing? It is Telangana. It is Telangana. And there is one UT, Puducherry, which is also not implementing this scheme. So, there, are, there is one state and one union territory which, is, which are not implementing this scheme, Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen. Okay, option B, Telangana is the correct answer. As per foreign contribution rules 2011, any person receiving foreign contribution more than how much amount in a financial year from relatives has to intimate to central government within three months of receipt of, of that foreign contribution. So it is rupees 10 lakh guys. If uh, you are receiving more than 10 lakh rupees from your uh, relative as a foreign contribution. So as per foreign contribution regulation rules 2011, you have to intimate to the central government within three months of uh, receipt of that foreign contribution. Option C is the correct answer. Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers headed by Mansuk Mandavia has approved an outlay of how much rupees for strengthening or, or upgradation of National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research for the period 
ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ठीक है तो कितना पैसा दिया है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ केमिकल एंड फर्टिलाइजर ने सो इट इज रुपीज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड करोर्स ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे व्हाट इज द बजट फॉर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द नबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन सो व्हाट इज द बजट फॉर दिस डिपार्टमेंट इट इज वन लैख ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड करोर्स ऑप्शन ई इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर दैट इज फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड गाइज दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे सेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एज द नबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन दिस ईयर यू कैन ज्वाइन द क्रैश कोर्स विच हैज बिन लॉन्च and the crash course consists of live classes of esi and ard esi classes are being taken by anuj sir uh, suraj sir is, ta is taking the classes of ard all right so if you want to join the course you can visit to anujjindal.in or you can download the app from the google play store all right so thank you so much i will see you in the next session on monday goodbye take care and god bless